Hello there, my name is Mike Rowe, and I own the Bridgeton Mill here in uh, Bridgeton, Indiana. It's an old water-powered mill that's been in operation for over 180 years. We bought the mill about 16 years ago, and we thought maybe it'd be nice to have a vlog, as my children call it. We're going to make this video vlog so we can uh, show people what we're doing here, um, and how we do it, why we're doing it. And there's a lot of people not familiar, I'm sure, with the old water-powered mills and how they operate. So this will be kind of an educational piece about the old mill. Episode number one, back to the grind. After the tornado blew our roof off and the water damaged a lot of our machinery and the product inside, we spent several weeks rebuilding everything. And today is the very first day we're actually back the milling uh, since the tornado and uh, hopefully we'll get our shelves filled back up with product within the next two or three days. The tornado came through here and blew the roof off our mill. It blew the siding, some of the siding, off of the covered bridge. It blew down hundreds of trees. Many of them landed in the creek. The creek is actually the exhaust for the mill. So in order to fix the water power, we've got to get those trees out of there. The roof was off the mill for several days and it was pouring down rain. Uh, we had trouble finding somebody who would actually get on the roof and work on it. In the meantime, uh, things were being filled up with muddy water. We threw tarps and cans and everything we could over stuff trying to protect it. We actually drilled a hole in one of the floors to let the water on through. One of our barns, and we call it the old mill barn, was hit by three trees. Uh, one end was smashed pretty good. It's got a lot of holes poked in it, dents. Um, so far, they're not working on it because they're trying to concentrate on saving and protecting the old mill first. Then we're going to start working on the other things like the shed that was smashed, the barn that was hit. Go. All right, we're starting to grind again after the big tornado. Everything's been restored and cleaned. And working better than ever. Sifter's back in action after being completely rebuilt. And working like a charm. Now it's going to take us about a week just to get the counters filled back up and fill all the orders we have for a mail order. Well, let me turn the line shaft on. Check out the new lights here. Those were donated by a guy that was actually going to throw them away, but I think they're gorgeous lights. Then the other ones were pretty much ruined by all the water. And one of them's already out. Uh -oh. But they're gorgeous. Yes, they are. 
Corn art is back in its rightful place. The corn flag. New mixing station. It's four barrels underneath. Mixing and bagging. And here comes the yellow corn out the back end of the sifter. Right. Yes, we always called this, the, at least I did, the Work Island, but now it's the Work Peninsula. The <laughs> Work Peninsula. See, peninsula, because it's attached there to the wall. Yeah, you get it. Here is a good shot of the corn going down into the center of the stone. corn coming out at the bottom of that red tube and bounces off that plate and then it has nowhere to go except for in between these two giant stones and it gets all crushed up. And that's why it comes out as cornmeal. Right there. Stone ground cornmeal. All right. Anything else you want to say before we go today? No, we just like to get our roof finished. Though it's going to rain hard, we still have a few leaks, but uh, hopefully this week they'll get the roof finished and then start working on repairing the old barn. Exciting me Once in Germany someone said nine One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine I'll hold back Oh, don't invite me One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Once in Germany someone said nine Sister